Right, okay, so we've got three terms, okay? But before we wonder what shape the map box is going to be, we're just going to go through the step. So the first step, identify the groups that you're going to enter into the Carnot map. So we look for the ors, so let's just go along here. Say, so, right, okay, it's a group, group, group. Oh, there's an or, so stop. Move on from that or. Find the next one. It's there, so that's another group. So there's actually three groups here. And then we got that one. So that's what we're going to enter into the map. So that's the first step. The next step is say, so, okay, now I've got to draw the box, the actual empty Carnot map. It's got three terms, so it's going to be a grid that's got four columns. And because we only need two rows for the other terms, C and not C, we just need to do two rows. Whenever I'm doing these boxes, if you don't get it in the exam, always like do the halving and then halve the halve. Otherwise, what you might do is you might draw something and you go, yeah, oh, and end it with like a really big fat box on the end, which you don't want. So we're trying to like draw, you're trying to make it neat, remember? So the examiner's got every chance to say, oh, this student knows what they're doing. They haven't just like been chewing their pen and then spat the ink out of their mouth onto the paper, which they might have done. Yeah. I, I've done that several times. How many people have chewed a pen and you've gone, I think I chewed it too long, my mouth is now full of ink? No. Yeah, <laughs> come on, admit it. Right, so this is going to be the A, B's and this is going to be the C's. So for the C's, that's <coughs> quite easy, just 0 and 1. So remember, that means not C, and that means C. For the A's and B's, we'll start off with not not, which is not A, oops, and not B. If I was perfect, I would be dangerous. Um, and then I'm going to do not A and B, so not A and B. Then I'm going to do not A and not B, and then I'm going to do uh, no, don't be stupid. I'm going to do A and B. Then I'm going to do which one haven't I haven't done twice. So I'm going to do A again and not B. Okay, so just double check myself. So I've got not A twice, A twice, not B twice. Uh, none of these change by more than one bit each time. So no change, one change, one change, one change. Okay, that's super important. If you don't do that, Okay, you will end up with a map that don't work. Right, so that was step two, create the empty map. Now, do step three, which is to enter the ones for each of these three groups that we've identified. So if we go for this one, we've got A and B, so that's this column, and C. So if we look at this one, that is the normal C, so it is a one going in there. Yeah? So I'll tick that off, so I've done it. The next one is a and not B. So A and not B is here and C. So one goes in there. Yep. So tick that one off so we don't do it again. Although if you don't do it again, if you do do it again, you should put it in the same place. <laughs> You've gone horribly wrong if you start putting it in the wrong place. The next one is A and B, so that's here and not C. So not C was that one. Okay, so that's the end of step three. We've done the groups. The next bit, surround. We have got to use binary powers. So it's got to go 1, 2, 4, 8. If you add 16, then there'd be no, the, the logic would be everything changes, none of the inputs matter. <laughs> okay? Which would be a bit of a weird map. But that would be good if you get something complicated and you went, actually, none of these input matters. It's always going to be a 1. Right, so we want powers of 2. So we, we can see that we've got a potential block there. We cannot have empties or noughts in our rectangles. Okay? We can't have funny shapes, we can't have diagonals. So we could do a single one there, but the idea is to basically try and reduce complexity by having two and above. So that will be another group. Okay? Right, so Next step, so once I've done that, there isn't much more I can do on that diagram, it's quite a simple one. Now I'm going to try and identify the symbols that stay the same and the symbols for each group that change. So let's do this bottom one here, so I'm going to just do this. So looking at this, 
Um, it's just in one row of C. So C stays the same. So we're going to keep that one. But if we look at going across the columns, uh, we've got A and B and then A and not B. B changes. Okay, B is normal and knotted. So B changes. So that is going to be one of our candidates for getting rid. So I'm going to discard that one. I'm going to keep that one. A stays the same. Okay, so I'm going to have A the same. So I'm going to keep it. So my expression for that part of the map is going to be A and C. Yeah? Everyone happy with that? So that's done that one. Let's have a look at this one. So I'll do another little arrow coming out so I can annotate around. Okay, we have. I'll start with this because it's easy again. So we've got not C and C. So C changes. So we don't want that. So C changes. So we're going to discard it. Then we have got A and B. Okay? And they stay the same. In the column they're going to do. So A stays the same. So we're going to keep. B stays the same. Going to keep. So our expression for that is going to be A and B. I think you got it right, Josh. Okay. Right, so that was step five. Just to identify what the expressions for each rectangle that we've identified on the map. Last bit, join these expressions together. So I'm just going to underline them so I can see them. Using or. Okay. So our final expression is going to be for this entire and this is quite a nice one because it shows you how much simpler it's got. Okay, so that's like quite hideous. We've got three terms in each of those expressions. Horrible. But we've reduced it to this. So we've got A and B or A and C. If you want to put brackets around each one, you can do to make it a little bit clearer to read. But you don't need to put them in. And that's your final answer. Okay, did everyone get that right? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. So you can do Karno maps. You might have not liked it when I gave you the homework and you went, oh, I well, can't do this. But hey, follow the six steps. Yeah? Right. Let's, let me give you a more complicated one. Let me stop that.